Leo, 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 let's go, Leo. Divine and grateful risings, Leo. Y'all know I'm finna get lit because it's what? The Leo Weekly Tarot Cast. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Of course, we finna get some sage in this house. I hope y'all are doing well and that things are going fantastic for you, okay? And of course, y'all with the sage, setting the intention to cleanse, remove, protect, and purify our space, our energy, the cards, our auras, our auric fields of any and all negativity, negative energy, low vibrational energy, sin intentionally or unintentionally from those known and unknown, including ourselves. And so it is. And so it is. What is going on, Leo? I hope y'all are doing fantastic. Oh, we finna get our weekly tarot cast and see what spirit want to talk about. All right. Y'all know I'm trying something new and I miss y'all. Y'all know I'm used to going live, but this is more efficient, time efficient. And I can get more stuff out here. Charlie, I didn't figure out how to do something special or different <laughs> with this uh, editing software that I'm using. So I'm just saying it's working out. You're going to jump in and tap me. Uh oh, wait a minute. With spirit, spirit guides, ancestors, and angels of the highest and purest life vibration and energy. Hold on, y'all. Let me hydrate my soul. Hydrate your soul and things, okay? We're going to see what spirit, spirit guides, ancestors, angels, and ascended masters. My bad. Hey, y'all. <laughs> of the highest and purest life vibration and energy. I want to talk about it. So dizzle, okay, today. Let's see what we got going on for my Leos this week. What is the word? What is the business? Y'all better come through and represent Leo. What is going on for my Leo spirits? Leo in the now that was too many cards. That was too many, y'all. We're gonna see. And the cars is jumping, jumping. They said one more. Here we go. Leo, what we got? <laughs> walk your talk. Hey, walk your talk. I'm trying to tell you what Leo, show up and show out. Number 63, become what you believe. Y'all see this sunshine and message on this card? Become what you believe, okay? Become what you believe. Are your thoughts, words, and actions in alignment with your core inner values? Y'all, the sun. The, the our sun sign is our identity who are you okay this card asks you to walk your talk hey walk your talk oh okay i'm back become your own personal hero or heroine and step into the very best version of yourself radiating authenticity into the world look leo y'all are the sun you're we are the rulers okay so the sun oh, can't do without it so y'all need to be showing up shining showing out okay show up shine and show out and that's it do what you say you're gonna do show up be authentic um and don't let about to try to tell you who you are meant to be. This there also they just said creativity. So do what you're supposed to do. This is fifth house energy. Okay. You're supposed to be having fun and radiating and glowing and encouraging and inspiring others. Okay. So some of y'all may be doing that this week. What else do we have? Difficult emotions, number 11, that is coming in from a Leo. Okay. This card asks you to listen to your emotions. Every emotion we have is necessary and important to us, even the challenging ones, okay? So I'm getting something on. They're showing me fear on this with this walk your talk as well. Like, don't let fear stop you from getting to where you're trying to go, Leo. We're not doing it. Or emotions. Some of you may be feeling sensitive. We have the full moon and Aries coming up on the 9th. So you may be facing some difficult emotions right now. Difficult feelings are letting you know that something is not okay. Do you need to cry and get something out? Look, child, don't don't feel no type of way. I was in here boohoo crying the other day, and Spirit Nim said, "Come on, Tuga, <laughs> pick yourself up." All right, because we have to have those moments, y'all. We have to face the difficult emotions. You got to take the bad with the good. It ain't good all the time. So even in the bad times, face that and acknowledge those feelings within yourself. Okay, it's okay to not be okay. Learn to understand and love your emotions and discover how they serve you. They're also coming through with intuition on this. I'm surprised. I don't, I don't know how I feel. I wish they wouldn't have put number 11 because 11 is a, such a nod and such a positive indicator from spirit. But anyway, that's just my, my opinion on that. But this is also showing that ever unfolding rose. Okay. Don't be afraid to 
really look at all the layers of yourself, emotions included this week. Okay, Leo, you may face something that's challenging, but this is just saying walk your talk. Don't be afraid to stand up and, and stand up for you as well. Okay, we're going to jump in and see what else we got for Leo. What do we have for Leo? How am a Leo showing up this week? Spirit, uh-oh, y'all. It went all the wrong way. I do feel like there's some clarity that is happening. I know I'm a little, I'm a lot more clear. It's like Mercury, Mercury, Mercury Papa Mercury went retro. I mean, went direct and child. It was like, <laughs> the clarity was real, even more so than usual. I was like, okay. So it is what it is. So some of my Leos that may actually be coming out of like feeling foggy with these difficult emotions. Um, maybe you felt a little foggy, a little unclear about things. Let's see how you're showing up. Living space is what is coming up from a Leo's. Look, clearing out the clutter. The time is to the the time has come to make changes to your living space. Some of y'all gonna be moving, receive it. This may be an omen to move location. So traveling coming up, clean up clutter. I told you, clearing out the clutter. It could be emotional clutter. Okay, change housemates or set new ground rules for equal effort towards tasks and chores. That's they're also because <laughs> they're showing like emotional junk and garbage and, and clutter. And that may be what is keeping you from really moving forward. Revisit ways to improve lighting and a sense of sanctuary, cleanse stagnant energy. Child, I literally just done staging. Okay. So some of you may need to clear the space around you, but you may be getting ready to move. So I'm just saying that may be heavy. Or moving and if you're not like moving physically it could be like moving jobs you really some i just said calling your bluff calling your bluff on this walk your talk like maybe you told your boss like i'm i'm out of here if you don't you know what i'm saying respect that i need this or i need help i need assistance um and now you it's like i'm out of here so some of you may be moving jobs what's the influence What's the influence? Consummation is what we have that's influencing. This is an omen of formalizing a union. Told you, you may be moving. Some of y'all may be moving in with your significant other. This could be a union with your higher self, a divine partner, a commitment, or a quest. Striking out on something new. Message like we just talked about. 212. Child, I was spitting. It is time to sanctify your body, heart, mind, and soul. Some of you, we talked about these difficult emotions and facing those, like facing those so that you can release them and make room for something better, child. New beginnings coming in. Giving ones of oneself freely and cherishing the process will keep intentions just and pure. The path before you is one of divinity and uninhibited bliss. Child, when you stop focusing on the difficult emotions and what was, because this puts us in the mind of grief and things we've gone through and challenges. So once we overcome that child, the sun will shine again. Okay, y'all see, just saying. Lessons learned, deep past, spirit. For Leo, all things in moderation, sobriety. Y'all, I literally, like, you, you got to take breaks, whether this is, um because this is coming up in lessons learned, like, so you may have taken a social media break, a fast. Some of you may need to do a fast. Um, if you've been overindulging, before I read whatever's on here, moderation. If you've been smoking too much, drinking too much, some of you may have stopped doing that because um, it's consummation consuming. So you may have had to like start saving as well. Um, this is an omen that you or someone around you may be overdoing it. Are you doing too much? Some of you really needed to take a rest in order to process some emotions. This could represent overindulgence, vanity or imbalance. This brings attention to traits of narcissism, substance abuse, intensity, lack of discipline or impulsive behavior. We've been talking about emotional spending, things like that. So I feel like this is something that my Leos are overcoming, though. Um, it may have been triggered by some difficult emotions that came up to the surface, but I do feel like y'all are making or clearing that. Healthier habits are needed. Intervention is coming. Where to help that? So, so there's definitely something that's going to be coming in to help uh, move you. Some of you first to help you move. You may receive some assistance with moving. Okay. Recent past spirits for Leo. <laughs> if you got a divorce you may be like getting a divorce and now you're moving away from your person we have vows commitments we already had that as well so sign a new contract 
Promises are being made or need to be made. Words hold power and tell the universe how to fill our deepest desires of commitment. Some of you want to get married, so you may be moving in with the person that you're going to marry. It's time to examine the vows and principles of vows within yourself and those around you. Revision or affirmation may be needed to refresh the energies. A new vow may be made to you or vice versa. Who getting married? Told y'all somebody get married, somebody pregnant, impregnito, okay? <laughs> so just know um, some of you may be signing contracts or if you recently signed a contract or signed a new, could be a mortgage, a lease for a new property. It's living space is what they're showing me. So if you, you may have just moved, okay, for some of y'all. But I'll definitely see moving coming in for some of y'all walking away. You walking away from an old person, maybe a relationship. What's on your mind, Leo? What's on your mind? Gra <laughs> Look, graduation. I'm tired and I'm fit to go. Some of you are graduating into and again, stepping into a new phase, a new cycle where you are again. You may be getting married with the vows card. You may be moving into a new place to stay. Um, you may be eating healthier, changing your routine, right? You, again, not eating, drinking, smoking is like the same way, changing a uh, like healthier diet. Maybe you went and got some help, saw a therapist or a counselor, talked with someone. You may be actually graduating school. Congratulations all the same because what you did that. Okay, if you have graduated from a really difficult life lesson, let's go, Leo. This this why you shine, and this why you like I surrender because babe, I was tired of being in that cycle. You can breathe a sigh of relief for overcoming your situation. Ain't it true, y'all? Like we can't imagine ourselves getting out of something until we actually on the other side of it, and then we'd be like, Man, I can't believe I can't when I remember when I couldn't figure out how I was going to come through that, but God, okay, but God. This can also be an omen to confirm certification for completing a program, educational course, or personal goal. I told y'all, some of you may be, you got your master's, your bit, your like your degrees, bachelor's, master's, doctorate. So you may have finished college. Congratulations. Okay. This marks the end of a cycle. Let's go. Say congratulations to yourself. You did it. Okay. You have made it to completion. And if you have not, you already know you're almost there. I just told Aries that because they had a card. It was the same thing. It's like, you're almost there. Look, y'all want this? Look, y'all ending okay the time now is time to say goodbye to all the enemies okay the time has come to say goodbye with every ending comes a new beginning period let go okay trust that what happens is in divine order endings come in many forms told you we got graduation so my leos are graduating and moving into a new season of prosperity and beginnings and abundance um this says this could be the end of a job, career, relationship, cycle, or life, or cycle of life, not or, or no, it says or life. So some of you may have lost someone recently. And I'll send you my condolences. Um, this signals an end to pain and suffering, baby. We graduating and an end to what no longer serves you. I got to go, okay? Some of you are creating. Oh, hey, my look, sun card, bottom of the deck. Told y'all, ancestors, them tapping in, saying, oh, yeah, you moving on. <laughs> Leo, so some of my Leos are definitely um, graduation. So, again, congratulations in advance for your new place to stay. Congratulations on your engagement, opening up your new business. Let's clarify living space, spirit. Starting that new heart and leg of your journey okay one more time what is going on let's get some clarity for my leo's spirit here we go oh coming up with the living space we breaking free look trapped in fear and this because this is more than just y'all this rap is killing my forehead let me make sure i got my rap rap because child look that was tearing <laughs> that was tearing my little forehead up okay i'm back Look, living space. So some of you may have felt very trapped where you were, confined. Some of y'all might have been living with your parents. I've just got to keep it a buckles, right? And now you're moving out on your own. Some of you may feel trapped in the place that you're at. And this is fear saying you are not trapped. You can figure out exactly what it is that you need to do in order to move forward, okay? Um, don't be afraid. A way is going to be like help is on the way is what I also just heard. Consummation. We're going to clarify it. 
Oh, I just, yeah, y'all gonna be all right. Y'all finna get, y'all finna break free of something. This is also mental anxiety because this is a, this is the illusion of being trapped. You're really not trapped. So we got to get out our heads, Leo. Make sure that if, when you start feeling like, oh my God, what am I going to do? That you put, like, what do you need to do to pull yourself out of there? Wait a minute, y'all. Y'all ain't have to do, uh-uh. What's causing your anxiety? If you made it this far, that means that you can make it even further, okay? So remember that you are able to accomplish and pull yourself out of anything. With consummation, we have firm foundation. Oh, come on, living space, told you. <laughs> so this is saying like, yeah, Leo, you're really, this is like the four of wands, okay? I think that, yeah, this is wands. So this is you knowing that you're good. You are able to create a new foundation for yourself, stability, security, and it's not going to be as difficult as you think. Okay. So spirit is saying, don't worry with this eight of this eight of swords energy and this, it's like you're worried and you've already created a firm foundation. So some of you again, getting married. Okay. Just keep it in both of y'all going to be, you may be getting married. Um, and formalizing a union, moving in with someone with this four of wands. Okay, solid foundations. Oh, moderation, and we have the tower. Look, and we got the ending cards over there. So some of you made us like a real. Mm, they feel like a quick change. You made a like you made a quick change within yourself, and it actually was a major shift, is what they just said. Like you decided to create a change, ending something, change it. Like some of you we talked about, maybe you um changed, like started going to the gym, Leo. Whatever this change was, it was a catalyst for something that's coming, getting ready to come in. It was like the grab, it was what you needed in order to move forward and elevate. Like you had, there was something you had to disrupt in your life in order to move forward successfully. And we have, come on, spirit, foundations and achievements. I'm telling you, and this is coming in with the vow. Oh, look, happy home, happy family. Okay. That is coming in for y'all as well. That is good, Leo. So some of you, I told you, you may be signing a, like a mortgage, signing, moving into a new house. We have this coming up as well with this living space card, y'all. So just know that, again, movement is definitely happening. And I feel like this is going to be very positive for my Leos as well. OK, because, again, I feel like this maybe your environment is giving you some stress. OK, it may be stressing you out a little bit. Child, I get it. I understand. Don't feel like you by yourself. Just know that you're going to be able to move forward successfully. We talk got two cars talking about foundation. So foundation and achievement and foundation. So somebody may be coming in to assist. Look outside yourself for resources as well. OK, um, definitely some movement happening for movement of emotions. Again, some of y'all may be walking away from a relationship, a person that you have been dealing with. What's on your mind? Come on, spirit. <laughs> movement choices and decisions i can't make it up this is the two of wands y'all i cannot make it up so <laughs> some of y'all are definitely making a decision of where you want to move you're going to have to decide because you're you are graduating right so what is the next step for you leo what do you want to do do you see yourself getting married there's money here what are you going to focus on um i'm also seeing because you have multiple options as you see in the doors multiple options but it's like what is the most important for you now that you have reached the top because it's here okay the what you have been trying to accomplish is already here and so it's we're also looking at okay what's next okay where are we trying to go and look as soon as i that was the eight of wands okay <laughs> so just saying what do you want to do what do you want to do where are you trying to go I think that was the eight of wands. This deck, I don't always just read it. It's supposed to go like the regular decks, but it don't have the court cards in it. But anyway, what's the outcome? What's ending? What's ending for my Leo? Wait a minute. That was too many cards. We're not taking all of them. What's ending for my Leos? <laughs> we have rejoice and celebration. So this could be... I will say some of you are maybe ending some friendships or some connections, but it's actually going to be beneficial because you're calling in something better. You also may, because this is coming in clarifying our endings card, and this is like the three of cups. So 
you may be again any new friend ending friendships but calling in better ones ending in trusting and letting go that new connections are that are coming in for you this week are going to be better for you okay leo so trust in the endings that are happening for you um i did just hear don't be afraid right because as we start to progress and move forward um we have to make harder decisions graduation right graduation so don't be afraid to make the hard decisions because I feel like you may have to face more. Some of y'all, it may be marriage, I told you, or just deciding where you want to relocate to. Final words of guidance from a Leo's. We have the boot. Eh, giving somebody the boot. <laughs> Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So got to do the work, put in some extra work, but I definitely feel like some of y'all gave somebody the boot because child, you tired of being stressed out about these per this this person this place this situation so these boots were made for walking that's just what i heard one of these days wait a minute one more time and we have the dog barking advice from a friend hold on let me see if that's going to focus advice from a friend that's coming in for y'all as well so you may have someone coming in that's going to give you some advice that is going to help you i'm just heard like word of mouth um so you may hear someone may come in that will actually give you some advice to help you move forward it actually help you um refocus your emotions as well leo so just be stay in the highest energy because guess what you have a new beginning this is something you created i just feel like you're going to see the culmination of it child uh, like lord the cars is all over the place let me put them down because they fell all over the place i think some fell on the floor i'm not gonna get it yet anyway leo that's it stay out of your head this week you've already created a solid foundation for yourself so see i see some results coming in for that but you may have to make some decisions in regards to where you want to move new job new house new location where is it that you want to go okay because there's something that's ending to create a new beginning and some happiness in your life this week okay so i hope that was helpful for y'all all right hydrate your soul and things leo drink your water say your gratitude have a fantastic day today put a little rest dazzling your spirituals get decisive get clear because there's some movement that's coming in for y'all this week okay love y'all in real life i'll see y'all next week all right deuces bye leo let me get these cards child before i rolled over them <laughs> just saying because that was been happening interesting <laughs>